What's up guys, BR Gaming here again for another amazing episode of Zelda Breath of the Wild, guys. I hope you guys are enjoying the series, I know I am. And if you guys are new to the channel and you guys haven't been following along, go ahead and just go back to episode 1 and, follow, and try to catch up with us, guys. I'm going to be doing one episode a day, so I mean, if you guys really want to binge watch, be my guest. I hope you guys are enjoying all this content. I hope you guys are staying active too with all those comments down in the section below, guys. And also on top of that, make sure you guys smash up that uh, that thumbs up button, guys. And also, if you guys have not already, make sure you guys subscribe for more content coming to you guys every day. And also, if you're new to the channel, make sure you guys also do sub uh, subscribe as well, guys. But anyway, so we conquered this tower, guys, and it actually gave us quite a bit of map. Like, that's a lot of map, guys. And we already went to the uh, lab right here, the Hatino Ancient Tech Lab. We did some, uh, kind of did some, like, wandering around here, um, and now the main quest, or the main mission is actually going to bring us back to, uh, the, um, uh, what is it, ka, uh, ka, uh, oh my goodness, I can't even talk right now, uh, 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 ka, kakariko, kakariko village? I used to be able to say it so well, now, like, it's like, word, like, it's like I had peanut butter in my mouth, uh, Kakariko, there we go, there we go, Kakariko Village, guys, and we gotta go see Impa for the, uh, Lac Momentos, because we finally got our Sheikah Slate, actually, um, enabled, so, now that's gonna be a little bit better, guys, um, so, before we do that, though, guys, I just wanted to take, like, a quick, kind of like a quick gander around, guys, and we have one shrine all the way out there, and then... I believe I saw one all the way up there, and that's a pretty far one, and I don't even think there's actually any any shrines actually closer than that, but I feel like that itself would just be like one episode, so I feel like there wouldn't be like, you know, that much, you know, when you're making stew, there's not really that much hefty potatoes in the stew, you know what I mean? Uh, if you guys don't get that, that's like something I've always heard from like my grandparents, so it's like pretty old actually. Um, but we're actually gonna go ahead and just do that fast travel too, guys. Um, that way, you know, because it takes like 20 minutes just to get over there. But again, guys, make sure you guys are leaving some comments in the section below. I'd love to see, uh, some interaction on this channel, guys, and I, w I really want to talk to you about this game and, you know, how much fun it could be for us and... Also, on top of that, I still have not yet received any updates for the new Zelda Breath of the Wild 2. Uh, so, I am trying to stay completely updated with that on the newest news so I can tell you guys. Uh, again, because we're doing this series uh, in preparation, I guess you could say, for that new Breath of the Wild. So, anyway, guys. I hope you guys are enjoying all this. I know I am. So, let's go ahead and start this adventure, guys. So we're going to actually go back to Lady Impa's house right here. Uh, door open. Yep. Alright. Let's talk to her. Huh? I heard Pure was giving you the runaround, but you seem just fine. Completed, guys. Locked mementos. Now then, let me see. Show her my little selfie stick. Aha! This is, without a doubt, the camera that Princess Zelda used a hundred years ago. Silence. It could be that if you visit the locations within the, uh, those pictures, you will be able to restore some of your lost memories. Come back here once you have tried going to at least one of those locations. There is something I wish to give to you. Okay. So, captured memories. We got a new main quest, guys. Uh, let's, what is this? Ooh, oh, yes. That Sheikah heirloom has been guarded by our tribe for generations. I must request that you not touch it. Even for an esteemed guest such as yourself, there are certain rules that must be uh, respected. Okay. Let's just go up here. Let's see what our girl Pure is, uh, Pie is doing. Uh, what are you doing, buddy? Writing in that journal, huh? P please don't frighten me like that. Do you need something from me at this hour? Uh, what you doing? I'm just jotting down some thoughts, just my boring daily affairs and such. Really, that's all it is. I feel like that's not what it is, guys. Okay, I think we already did all that. It's almost dawn and I haven't slept yet. You really should... Staying up late can't be great for your health. Tell me about it. Alright, guys. So, I think... Wait. 
Did we examine this yet? Journal of Various Worries. Journal of Various Worries. First page. Well, my my wife left me today. The last thing she said was to me was, "What's more important, the cuckoos or me?" I chose the cocos, the cuckoos. Oh, that's <laughs> that's the uh, little farmer John that we met. Um, a painter unfamiliar to any of us have a, has arrived in the village. He claims he is searching for the great fairy's fountain, but that's near where the village's spirit protector resides. We must make sure the outsider doesn't learn of the location of the fountain, or the two shrines near it. Oh. Okay, so there's actually two shrines up there, guys. So let's just go ahead. Maybe we can knock out those two shrines because we already found the uh, the fairy fountain. That was like up there. Um, hmm. Oh, it's you. Great timing. I have some good news. I did more research regarding the great fairy fountain. I have a lead. However, although I know all, uh, of the spot where it's likely located, it's really hard to get there. I'm not sure if I can do it. So, even if it's just a picture, I'm dying to see it. I'll help you out, even though the book said not to. Oh, I knew it. I just knew there was someone like me nearby who appreciates true beauty. Sadly, I can't pin the pin down the exact location of the Great Fairy Fountain. I haven't put it all together yet, but there's a suspicious place I have my eye on. In fact, I was about to head there now. Would you like to come along? Sounds great. Great answer. Just what I expected from a fellow beauty concierge like you. All right, then. Follow me. Alright guys, so we're gonna follow Pekango. Oh, he's running again. Guys, you know how much I hate running. Oh, but he's slow. I think I can keep up with him. Oh, wait, yeah. I actually run faster. Maybe I'll just do like a light little like... Nope, too slow. Alright, so we're just gonna go ahead and follow him. So that book actually said that whatever we must do, we can't let this guy know exactly where the fairy fountain is, so I, I feel like we're kind of betraying the book. But uh, yeah, I mean, books are books, you know? And I was never really good at reading anyway, so uh, I don't know what it means. I don't know what those words mean. Words, words don't mean things, guys. So let's just go ahead and follow this guy up here, and we'll see, oh, it's getting foggy. Oh, why'd you stop? So tired. Hills aren't easy for old, for old fogies like me. Sorry, but I can't. But I don't think I can go on. <sighs> the great fairy fountain should be along the path that leads past the shrine. <sighs> That's what I've been told, anyway. Yeesh, I'm completely out of breath. That's always happens to me right about here. <sighs> the weather is awful too, so I think I'd better rest for a bit. But hey, if you find it, don't forget to get a picture. Oh, you look fine now, buddy. Gonna make me do the rest of the work. Alright, guys. So we actually know where the fairy fountain is. And it's actually right over here. Um, and he wants a picture. And now that we can do so, because now we have our little uh, selfie stick Snapchat camera. So let's go ahead and... Are there any fairies? Um, I don't even see any. Okay, this is probably going to be, like, a really bad picture because, you know, let me get the whole thing in here. Let's see if I can, like, can I zoom out a little bit? No, I can't. Uh, that looks like a good picture to me. What do you think, guys? Uh, yeah, let's go with it. It still looks majestic, but it's raining, so I kind of feel like we can't really get, like, the full effect of the fairy fountain, but that's okay. So we're going to actually head back to him now. Where'd you go, Pagango? There you are, just sitting, lounging around in the rain. The serious place revealed in the mystery, the great fairy fountain. Neither snow nor rain, nor heat nor lightning strikes, uh, stays me from swift completion of this self-appointed task. Okay. Oh, I found it. Ah, you, you found it, really? Are you serious right now? And if you are, then where's the picture? Remember to bring the picture, right? Here we go, showing him the selfie. Look at that, guys. This... This is the Great Fairy Fountain. It's certainly beautiful, but I thought it'd be more sacred and elegant. Well, it is raining. Well, I'm impressed you found it. I want to give you something to show you my appreciation, but I don't think I have anything on me. I know. Is there a place you've been seeking? I've traveled all over Hyrule, so I might be able to help you find one. Oh, recognize anything? Oh, maybe we can show them the memories. Oh, yeah. A large gate with a snowy uh, mountain between it. Oh, I know that place. 
There is a big mountain east of this uh, village. It's called Mount Lanayru. At the base of Mount uh, Lanayru, on the west side of Nidra Snowfall, lies the gate. I'm almost certain. I'm glad I knew about this location. I suppose my hope was useful then. Alright, so that was a pretty easy quest, guys. Um, and we actually got one of the locations for uh, the one of the memories. Now, Mount Lanayru. Oh, that's all the way over here. And then they said Nadra Snowfall, which is right here. So I'm assuming... Um, If I can read a map, I think that looks like a bridge, guys. Uh, so let's go ahead and mark that with a star. Okay, so I think that's the, where the bridge might be, because those look like roads, and those... Okay, I went to map school, guys. So, uh, we can actually probably... Uh, okay. Okay, so that's where one of the memories are, but let's go see, since we got the new slate, and since we already talked to him, and he didn't really offer anything before, uh, but now that we got some new abilities, maybe some other people might actually, uh, need some stuff as well. So let's go ahead and just talk to just some of the people. Recently, Eagle has been acting, uh, suspicious. It is our duty to protect Lady Impa. You okay in the rain? It is of no concern. These are traditional clothes that have been used by the Sheikah for generations. They are ideal for any situation and allow us to accomplish any kind of work at any time. Rain like this is no problem at all. Okay, so he's just like, The lightning is beautiful but dangerous. It is drawn to metal. Mind what you have equipped it on rainy days. Okay, I don't think I even have any metal equipped it, so that's good. Let's talk to my girl, Lastly. We're open rain or shine and chances right this way. Okay. I think those are like the only people that are out. I really don't like the rainfall, guys. So actually, I think there's a fire down here. But it is raining, so I don't know if it's lit or anything. Uh, or maybe the cooking pot. Let's see if I can... Even even if it's uh, not lit, can I still... I cannot. Okay. And I don't really want to spend rupees on... You know waiting around so let's actually just go ahead and um okay so let's actually just go ahead and travel to the tech lab and then we can actually glide down as far as we can and then we might actually have to do some mountain climbing guys so this is pretty uh pretty exciting and as you guys can tell too my sore throat after drinking, I want to say, like, maybe, like, three gallons of tea with honey and salt is actually finally getting better, guys. Uh, so if you guys can tell in the audio, let me know. Because um, on top of, the of you know, getting a new mic, the, the next problem that I faced was actually that sore throat. Um, but I think it's, I think it's pretty, I think it's a lot better now. Um, so those are the three trees from the previous episode. So let's just go ahead and, uh, nope, 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 nope. Uh, yep, okay. So let's go ahead and see if we got that. Alright, so we already have the warm doublet on, guys. Um, but I don't think we have any... Uh... So we only have hasty stuff, so we don't actually have anything for the cold. So I hope it's actually not that cold there. Uh, we can try it out, though, guys. And if it's, if it's good, then it's good. If it's not, then it's not. But it says there's a shrine in, in... Hold on. So the outside glows green whenever there's a shrine. Like, whenever we're going in the right direction. So it seems like we're going in the... Ex oh, wait, no. No, it's fading. It's fading. Do we already... Is it behind us? Where is this thing? It says it's this way, guys. Now it says it's gone. Wait a second. Am I on... Oh my goodness, guys. I think I might actually be on the, uh... Ah, uh, I was on the Sun Shrooms. Ah. Uh, okay, guys. That's my mistake. 
and I think we like just like cut our time completely in half with traveling there but that's okay guys that just means more time for us to hang out and actually continue on this adventure and I really don't mind hanging out with you guys and I remember one of the tips said we can't climb in the rain but I have that climbing bandana so let's see what happens okay so I think it automatically just like the air is very oh wait this might be too cold guys we just yeah that's too cold okay so scratch that oh but we gotta go that way anyway okay we need a campfire guys but since it's raining I can't really can't really do anything until the, the, the rain stops so actually what we can do is ooh, an iron trim this is new guys uh, the cap of this mushroom is very hard. Use it when cooking to prepare a dish that increases your defense. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Oh, and it stopped raining. Okay, so immediately we need to find a cooking. Actually, one second, guys. I think we have some flint. And couldn't we use flint for the, uh... I think we can. Okay, so hold on, guys. Uh, how do I do this though? All right, so hold. So let's do one of these, one of these, and then we can drop it right there. And then, nope, that didn't work. It's rolling. Okay. Okay, stay. Uh, hold. One. Press B. And we can drop it right there. And then. Oh my Okay, this is getting, this is kind of annoying, guys. I don't know exactly how to do this, actually, guys. So, bear with me for a second. Uh, let's just drop it right there. Okay, so now I gotta hit this with a metallic object. So, let's just go here and... Oh! Oh, what's the wind thingy? Okay, that was weird. Um... Ow. Ow. Okay, okay, that was really bad. Um... Oh, and it's a grassy area. That's even worse. Okay, so can I... Oh, I can't cook on a fire, though. Uh... Uh... Da, 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 da. Okay. So, I want... What? Oh, it's raining. Okay, so you can't climb when it's raining. Alright, guys. So, we're actually gonna go ahead and just go back into town, I guess. And we're gonna go ahead and just try and find... A cooking pot real fast so we can cook up some of these uh, elixirs that I've been told so much about and we're gonna see if we can actually just like cook something and that way we can kind of bear the cold a little bit better uh, I don't actually know where a cooking pot is though in this town but I'm sure there's probably one somewhere let's see Oh, cooking pot. Oh, cooking pot. Is this a cooking pot? That is a cooking pot. Uh, can I, like... How do I like this? How do I like this bad mama jam on fire, though? Um, actually, let's see if we can just use this torch, and we can see if we can, uh... There you go. Alright, let's see if I can just, like, light the, uh, cooking pot on fire. Uh, does that work? Oh, it does! Let's do that one. Yeah! Okay, so, inventory, alright, so let's see here, guys, um, so we need a monster part, so let's just do, like, a key swing, so hold a key swing, and then we can go over here, and one of these, that's silence, <laughs> uh, excuse me, guys, um, alright, so sun trim, so we need a sun trim. Okay, then return to game, and then cook. Did that not... Dubious food, it's too gross to even look at. A bizarre smell issues forth from this heap. Eating it won't hurt you, though. Probably. Okay, I think I did that wrong, guys. Um, and I think that was actually our last thing. Um... Uh... Speed boost. 
Um, crap. Okay. Uh, crap on a cracker, guys. I think we screwed it up. Okay, so maybe... Alright, so let's see if... Let's see if we can just, like... Let's try to hold this. And then... Because that's a critter. So maybe it's critters and monster parts. So let's go ahead and add that and then cook this. Okay, we didn't get that weird food. Okay. Uh, what do we got? Hasty elixir grants a low level haste effect which boosts your movement speed while running, swimming, or climbing. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what else we got. Um, we got a frog. So let's go ahead and hold that and we can do another key swing. Let's see what this does. Okay, no weird sound. Oh, another hasty elixir. Okay. And then let's go ahead and try one more, guys. Uh, let's go... Uh, Alright, so we got another critter. And then let's try two key swings. So, n right now we're getting like 210. 420. Okay, so it doubles. The more monster parts you use, it doubles. So a sneaking elixir uh, grants a low-level stealth effect, which calms the nerves and silences footfalls. Uh, allows you to move about undetect undetected by monsters and animals. Okay. So, we don't have any more of any, like, sunshrooms or anything. But we actually might be able to go to the store right here, the general store. Because I remember doing that nice little tour that we got when we were running our butts off. They showed this spot. Is that a sunshroom? Endurance room increases stamina. Okay, I don't want that. Bird egg, perfect for cooking and nutritious. Okay, and Hylian rice. Okay, so we don't want any of that. Bomb arrows. Bomb arrows. And regular arrows. Okay, so they actually don't have anything we need. Let's just go ahead and try, see what's in here. Uh, Hylian tunic, Hylian trousers, Hylian hood. Okay, and then we also got got some of this though. We got some soldiers, and this is actually really cheap too, guys. Oh, but we already have a warm doublet. Should we buy this? How much is it? So two hundred. Okay, two fifty. All right, that's pretty much capped out, guys. And one eighty. So that's actually pretty capped. But we can actually probably we can probably sell some stuff. Uh, let's talk to you. Welcome, welcome. Everyday clothes, armor for soldiers. We have it all. At Ven Ventest Clothing, did you need something? Uh, I'm here to sell. Yes, what would you like to sell? Uh, please go ahead and sell whatever you desire. Okay, so let's actually go ahead. I really don't want to do it, guys, but I feel like we need to sell all of these. I still haven't found exactly yet what we can use gems for, guys. So I feel like we can just sell them for now because we're probably going to get like so much more, especially if we're going back into the mountains. I feel like that's pretty reasonable to sell everything so because we're probably gonna get more anyway guys so let's not let's not worry about it too much um so one of these and then i don't think we'll ever get to use flint again uh because that fire like just didn't even do anything we're gonna keep the we're gonna keep the wood because we need to buy that house eventually at some point probably not anytime soon but some point and then we're going to sell the topaz, 180. Okay, now we have quite a bit of stuff. Um, so let's go ahead. Oh, do, but do we want the Hylian tunic, though? That grants three armor. This grants four, four, and four. Um, okay, let's go ahead and buy this, actually. So 200 rupees. All right, so Soldier's Greaves. Uh, Hylian guards favor these greaves. They owe their distinctly high defense to the metal plates that made from, but the added weight takes some getting used to. Okay. And then let's go ahead and do this one. Hylian's armor, Hylian guards, praise us. Uh... Oh, it's different actually. Made from sturdy plates of metal, the high level of craftsmanship that went into this is obvious with just a glance. Okay. We're gonna look fashionable, guys. Uh, and let's do this one. 180 rupees. Uh, headgear made from sturdy metal, metals 
uh, for frontline soldiers, praise for the defensive capabilities. The only helm that remain that remain are those that survive the calamity. All right, so we got some rare stuff, I guess, guys. And then let's go ahead and just like do a little snapshot, and we can go ahead and equip, equip, and equip. Oh yeah, guys, look at that. And actually, real quick while we're here, I know we were gonna go do the uh, that shrine and also the memory, but like let's just take our time real quick and actually die this stuff. Uh, welcome if you were looking to add some color to your wardrobe, you found the right place. How do you do? Welcome to Kachi Dye Shop, where we live to die. That's such a great pun, guys. I really like that, actually. Uh, and it's only 20 rupees, too, so yes, die. Alright. This guy creeps me out a little bit, but that's okay. Alright. Uh, Alright, choose a color. Um, oh, it only does, like, the inner... Okay. That's okay, though. Um, I kind of like green. Oh, I can actually, like, turn around, too. Okay, so it actually, like, doesn't really do anything. Um, I don't, I kind of like red. I kind of like blue, too, guys. Only because, like, the inside's blue. But I really like the green. I think the green, like, is, like, matching with, like, Link, of course. Like, you know, he was a child raised in the woods, but he was also, like, kind of, you know, not raised in the woods. I do like the blue as well. Um. Uh. Let's just do blue because it kind of matches his eyes. Uh. Choose five ingredients you'd like to use for your dye. Okay, so we have a lot of these, so let's just, you know, do a bunch of those. It's like I'm holding. Look at his eyes. He's like, what did I just do? Alright now, stay like that and don't move a muscle. What's happening? His eyes are like... Wait, what? <laughs> he went for a swim, what? Oh, but look how glamorous he looks, guys. Yahoo, what a wonderful tone that is. I might try that out on one of my outfits. You look great, thank you. Do you find this, pal this palatable? If you'd like to re-die, just let me know. Guys, we look so awesome. Look at this. That really looks good, guys. That's actually pretty cool. Alright, so now we got some dyed armor, guys. Uh, we don't have any sort of shrooms. Uh, let's actually, let's just go ahead and take a look at the album. Because I feel like some of this stuff might be even closer than we think. Because um, that one's pretty far off in the distance. Um, let's see. So... This one is really close to the castle, but I feel like since we saw this one first, I feel like this is supposed to be the first one that we do. And I, I kind of want to, like, take them all, like, in order. But that's so far, and we don't have anything. You know what we can do, actually, guys? We can actually go to, uh, uh, we can go to the stables and see if they have any... Sort of elixirs, because I know the beetle had quite a few things. Um, so let's go ahead and just fast travel to the stable real quick, guys. I already have a feeling, guys. This is definitely going to be like a super long episode. I don't. I like. I. I just have a feeling. So I hope you guys don't mind a little bit, like of the longer episodes. I try to keep them around like fifty minutes to an hour. But, you know, when you're adventuring, you never know exactly how long that adventure is going to take. Especially if there's, like, Boko Goblins or something cool and shiny like this new dyed armor. So, let's just keep on adventuring, guys. I think this is, uh, actually, I think, I'm, I mean, I'm having a good time. I don't know about you guys, but I'm surely having a great time. Um, let's see, let's talk to the beetle. Oh, hi, we meet again. What are you looking for? Or are you selling? What have you got? No, 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 no. I don't want that. I don't want that. Uh, restless Cricket. Stamina Recovery. Speed Boost. Uh, he doesn't have anything, guys. Uh, goodbye. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Um. Nope, that's, that's the guy. Oh, man. Okay. Alright, guys. So... 
Huh. Interesting, guys. Very interesting. Uh, so we actually don't have a single place to go right now. And I feel like I'm kind of ashamed by that. Because maybe if we just get a horse. So maybe if we get a horse, maybe we'll be able to like just like run it like a lot faster. Um, so it said spotted horses are easier to tame, but they're not as great. But solid color horses are actually a lot better and they have faster stamina. Um, and they have more stamina. So you can actually run them a lot. And I kind of like the brown one. So let's go ahead and mount you, buddy. Soothe, 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 soothe. Oh, you gotta keep... Oh, man. I don't think we have enough stamina for it. Okay. Let's go ahead and try and get, like, this guy. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Alright, we got a horse, guys. We got a horse again. That doesn't listen. Alright, so we're back to... I actually have no idea where Sky went. Um... So that's kind of a problem. But I guess we're going to train a new horse from scratch, guys. So this is going to be super interesting. Um, stop fooling around, guys. Stop fooling around. Stop. Stop it. Okay, there we go. Alright, guys. So I guess it's kind of nice, too, anyway, because you guys kind of missed, like, the last episode where I kind of showcased how you get a horse. So, I guess maybe this is actually a good thing that I can actually show you guys now how you actually get one. Uh, so that's how you get one. And previous to getting this one, that's also how you get bucked off a horse. So that's also pretty cool. So you kind of got best of both worlds there. Um, right, so let's just, let's just start running. Let's just continuously, like, soothe this guy whenever we possibly can, whenever he listens. Like, not right, like, right now he's not listening. Right, go ahead. There we go. There we go, buddy. Look at that. No. Stop. Stop. Stop it. Bad horse. Alright, so let's just keep going, guys. And this is going to be a hike. This is definitely going to be a hike. Nope, you're not listening again. See, he like, it's like he, he wants to listen, but he's not listening. It's like me as a kid. Oh, wait. Actually, whoa, 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 whoa. Actually, this guy is wandering, so maybe he might have something. Uh, the food stuffs you get in the Hatento village are way fresher than anywhere else. The vendors there know what, know it too. And on that note, I'd love if you bought something. But I mean, I'm happy just to show you what I've got for sale. The rest is up to you. Okay, let's see if you got. Uh, take your time. Being in a hurry never did anybody any good. Okay. Uh, prep for cooking, soups and stews, sweets and cakes. Okay, you were useless, buddy. Okay, I expected more. Alright, so let's see if we keep going. Okay, so there has to be like a road to get up there though, guys. Doesn't seem like it. Alright, so let's just like... I don't know. I guess we'll just keep going and see where the wind takes us. But here's another traveler. I wonder if like I just like... Oh man. I can tell you've trained your body well. I'd say you're familiar with both sword and bow, correct? That's a good sales set. Why don't you join the Yiga clan? Uh, I'll pass. What? You're refusing? Why don't you at least hear what I've got to say first? The Yiga clan, it's... A powerful, brave group of warriors founded by Master Koga and dedicated to feeding the hero of, uh, thought long dead. I will take your life. Wait, 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 what? Um... Okay, guys, it looks like... Ow. You're scaring the horse. Are you kidding me? Okay, so first of all, we're using the wrong damn thing. Second of all, how in the world... Oh my god, she's behind me. How am I supposed to defeat this guy? And I have no arrows. There we go. It's all about the jumping, guys. It's all about the jumping. Alright, that was rough. 
Alright, uh, Vicious Sickle, a grim weapon favored by the Yiga, the half-moon shaped of the blade allows for the rapid delivery of fatal wounds and and serves as a symbol of their terror. Its durability is low. Okay, but we can't carry it. Um, uh, bye, Boko Club. Let's take that. Oh, we got some gem, uh, rupees too, guys. Mighty Bananas, this fruit grows mainly in tropical forests of the Farron region when it's used as an ingredient... The resulting dish will temporarily increase your attack power. Uh, that must be nice. I mean, you killed me twice. But we do have those fairies, guys. Just goes to show how important those fairies are. Uh, so we can count that as one death, guys. So we are one death in of the episode. We actually made progress, though, because it's been like 30-something minutes since, you know, we started recording. So actually, we're making progress. Usually, I'm like five deaths in right now. Alright, so let's just keep going, and let's see if we can get up there. See, I feel like we're, we, we need the cold weather gear, but nobody sells cold weather gear, and on top of that, we have no ingredients to actually do anything. So, I mean, I don't know how we should do this, guys, but it's definitely something we got to try and figure out. Um, I do have a lot of fairies, though, so maybe, like, we can just, like, I don't know, rough it until it's not cold anymore? I'm not sure. Uh, let's see. So let's just keep, let's just keep going and going and going. Let's go up here. Whoa, buddy. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can we get up here? No. Okay. Go back this way. No. Okay. Go back this way. Okay. So that's kind of useless. Actually, guys, what we can do real quick: Shika sensor. No. Wrong one. Shika sensor. Sunch room. And then. Okay. Are there any sort of any sunch rooms in any which way direction? Um. Ow. Okay. So we need some sunshrooms, guys. I think, like, before we even do anything, uh, even though I did, like, you know, kind of waste a little bit of time getting died, but I'm kind of, like, kind of happy about it. But there's no sunshrooms anywhere, guys, and I can't believe we kind of. I feel like maybe if we just had like two, I feel like maybe two would be perfect. Um, but I don't see like a single thing anywhere. Let's see with you, buddy. You're doing good. Um, wasn't there like a sunshroom? Like, no, that was a Hylian shroom, if I remember correctly. Actually, I mean, the the deck right there. Um. Let's just keep going. This is, like, kind of irritating, guys. Because, like, I really did, like, kind of want to, uh... You know, get right into it and go right up. But... I, f I feel like the best way to do it, though, guys, is actually just... Oh, wait. We got one. Nope. It's this way. It's over this way. Is it up here? No. Okay, this horse acting up is just like not very fun right now. Come on, come on, come on. What do you mean? It says it's straight ahead. It also said another one was like over here. Nope, maybe I lost it. Okay, hold on, let's go back this way. Oh my god, see, like it's not paying attention to me. Oh man, I really like, I hate that I have to train another horse, guys, but I'm actually kind of excited though. Uh, because I get to actually show you guys what you guys were missing the uh, last ep or well, two episodes ago when it kind of got all sorts of uh, you know nasty on us. It says it's right here. Okay. Oh, that's pretty cool. I did, like a backflip on the roof. It's pretty awesome. All right. So it says it's. I don't even know how, like, 
I mean, I guess, like, it's accurate, but, like, at the same time, guys, I feel like the shrines are just naturally just easier to find because they're bigger. So we're, like, really just looking for, like, one little tiny thing. Is that one? I think that's just a high end shroom, though. No, that's a sun shroom. There we go. Okay, we got one. And it says there's, there's an, another one. Oh, there we go. Alright, so we actually might be able to do this. And then here's another one. Ooh, and that's a high tail. Ah, I already scattered it. Darn it. Another iron shroom. Iron shroom. Iron shroom. Sun shroom. There we go. And we have the monster parts for them too, guys. So we actually might be able to do this now. Uh, let's just like keep going. So this is the main forest to get sunshrooms, guys. So if you guys are looking for sunshrooms, it's actually right here, right in Red uh, Red Sam uh, Forest. Ooh, a silent shroom, a strange mushroom that glows softly in the forest at night. Cooking in a dish unlocks the nutrients in its cap, resulting in a meal that will allow you to move more stealthily. Okay, so a lot of stealth. And it says there's still another one. Oh, there we go. Okay. No, nope, it says there's another one. Am I, like, going crazy? Oh, there we go. Alright, two more sun shrooms. Alright, I think... I want to say that's good, guys. Because now we gotta just go back into town real fast. Cook these up. And then, after that, we should be able to hit the mountain, guys. Can I call the horse? I'm pretty sure. No. No. Did that do anything? I thought that was for the horse. Okay, maybe not. Alright. Or maybe... Uh... Maybe you might need a saddle on the horse for him to, like... For the whistle to actually, like, work? I'm not sure. But let's just keep going. We're doing good. It's already been... We've actually already been going on this adventure, guys, for like 40 minutes. And I'm still like super excited to be here with you guys. Um, so again, just real quick, guys. If you guys are liking the episode so far, please make sure you smash up that thumbs up button. Also, subscribe if you have not already, guys. This is a pretty fun adventure. I mean, we did get our... We, we got new armor. We got it dyed. And we get to see what is going on right now. Something's like catching on fire. Oh, wait, this might be the... Uh, the thing, the traveler. Yeah, it is. All right, all right. This is cool. Link. Link. Oh, cutscene. Okay. Be on your guard. Ganon's power grows. It rises to its peak under the hour of the blood moon. By its glow, the aimless spirits of monsters slain in the name of the light return to flesh. Please be careful. Alright guys, we're back from that cutscene. That was actually really cool. And it's kind of sad because we, we did so much work killing monsters and like, they're all back again. And like, the places we thought were safe just like, aren't safe anymore. <laughs> so, that's kind of like... I guess like kind of sad, but also like kind of cool because that was a that was a pretty cool cutscene, and I do like the idea that they had showing like an actual blood moon in it, and not just like you know they don't just like come out of nowhere and you know that's it. So let's go ahead. Oh, we gotta do we still have that torch. I do. Okay, so let's just go ahead and cook these guys up real fast, and then we can go ahead and cut. Nope, nope. Slide that. Nope. There we go. Swing. No. Swing. Yep. Alright. So we can go ahead and cook all this stuff up, guys. And then we can actually go ahead and do this. Uh, we can actually do quite a few of them. Uh, now that I'm thinking about it. Alright. So let's not foul this up. So hold this. So that's a monster part. Oh, wait, no. You don't use monster parts with this because it's not a critter. That's where, that's where I screwed up last time, guys. So let's just do some... Uh, Let's hold one, two, three, and let's go over here and hold one of these, and let's see what happens. So three apples and one uh, sunscreen. 
Spicy fruit and mushroom mix. Grants low level cold resistance. The dish can uh, contrast the sweetness of the fruit with the savoriness of the sh mushrooms. Four minutes. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and do it again. But let's just hold two apples. And we can hold... Since we have quite a bit of them, we can hold two of the mushrooms. So, two and two. What's that do? Six minutes. Alright, Grant's low. Okay, so... Same thing, but so the more sun streams you use, the more uh, resistance you guys get. All right, so let's go ahead and just do, um, let's hold just one, and then let's go ahead and hold three of these guys. So the last one was six, six minutes with two. So this is nine. No, this is eight. Okay, so Grant's mid-level, and it gives us five, seven hearts too, guys, which we'll pro we don't even have seven hearts. So... That's kind of cool, I guess. And let's just go ahead and hold two more, guys. And we'll cook this final one. And that gives us, like, roughly about 15, 20 minutes. 5.30. Okay. So that gives us quite a bit of time. We're going to leave the horse here because I don't think we can actually take it with us. And we're just going to go ahead and fast travel up here so that way you guys don't see us, like, you know, running all the way back up that hill again. And we're just going to paraglide as far as we can until we can anymore. And then I guess we're just going to have to start, you know, kind of, I guess, just start climbing. And we also have that shrine up there, too, with the three trees. So I really don't know. Uh, maybe we should do the shrine first because we haven't done a shrine in quite some time. We did a tower. We've done, like, a bunch of, like, these little side quests. We did a few main quests. Uh, but we actually haven't done a shrine in a while. So maybe we might actually just go ahead and uh, do the shrine. And then we can kind of circle back. And we can see what happens when we go to the other side. Because we still... I don't know. If, it didn't look like that gateway was though. It didn't look like it was in the mountains. So it looked like there's definitely a pass of some sort. And let's go ahead and eat our majestic uh, cold weather. We'll do the five minutes first because we don't want to like... Alright. So we got cold weather. And so they said the three trees. So there's, I see two right now. So maybe the other one is like, am I still getting cold? Oh, I don't have my, okay. So I might have to actually take off one of our dyed things to put on our cold resistance. Okay, so that's perfect, guys. So we have like, uh, I guess like half a little box of coldness. So if it does get colder up here, if it starts like raining, or hopefully not. But if it does... We might be okay. We're going to have to probably do some climbing here. So, actually, can I use this as well? Does that affect... No, it, uh, well, it kind of does, actually. Um, that's okay. So, metal's warmer than the cloth. But we kind of need the cloth because we're climbing a lot. So, let's just keep going up. Oh, and that meter, guys. Look at that meter. Uh, right next to the mini map, it's it's so close to being too cold. Uh, let's just keep going, and hopefully, uh, we don't freeze to death and become like a fossil in an ice cube, like a woolly mammoth or something. I don't know, but let's go ahead. All right, so we got four minutes twenty seconds. Uh, four minutes twenty seconds. All right, so here's one tree, and. Is this the last tree? I think the other trees are... Maybe we gotta climb on top of it? Uh, let's go ahead and just climb all the way up. Do you guys see another tree anywhere? Alright, so there's the one tree right over there. And then... What exactly did the, uh, thing say? Uh, Secrets of the Cedars. There is an old legend about three cedar trees on a snowy mountain visible from the Hateno village. When the three summit trees become one, turn your back to them and head toward the sea. Okay, so the sea is that way. And if I'm looking at this correct, that's one tree, two trees, three. Actually, okay, so we're on the last tree. So we have to just go straight that way. And if I'm looking at it correctly, that's completely one tree right there. Um, so if I turn my back to it, so that's like literally that way. 
right yeah so that's literally that way all right so we got our heading guys we are on the way on another magnificent journey and what is that thing i don't even want to like oh we're gonna have to get into a fight guys oh we're gonna have to get into a lot of fights why am i using a torch not good oh we got something new what is this uh the Zalfo's horn, the winding horn once grew atop the head of the, uh, the Zalfo's. Uh, it's too hard to use for cooking, but stores are willing to buy it from you. It can be used to make elixirs. Okay, so you can't cook it, but you can make elixirs. That's kind of like, but you cook to make elixirs. All right, so that's kind of contradicting, but okay. And, uh, Lazarus Town, the town once grew on the elbow of a Lazarus, or the Zalfo's, sorry. Uh, you can stew it with critters to make elixirs, but it may have some other uses as well. And we got a new bow, a strengthened uh, Lizzle bow. A Lizzle bow with a grip reinforced by metal. The body is made from the branches of a flexible tree that grows near water, which offers some serious destructive power. Oh, but we can't carry it. Uh, and that wolf is coming after us. Uh, good thing it's not like live action, so like you can kind of pause and like unpause. And uh, Let's go ahead and drop this guy, because that's poopy. And then, do I have to... Uh, I don't know what you're doing here, buddy. I don't like it though. Get out of here. Get. Get. Ah, oh, I lost the heading of the trees. Ah, oh, gosh. Um. Okay, so I just gotta like move over. I really don't wanna like, especially because we don't like have time. Uh, I really don't wanna like risk it. Oh my god. Get out of here, dude. Oh, and actually, let me go ahead real quick, guys. I know it's like a lot of like. But let's go ahead and activate that shrine so we can actually like okay so there's a shrine nearby what if i go this way what if i go this way okay so it's weaker that way uh what if did i already pass it i think i already passed it guys no i didn't okay um where is it is it in or maybe it's okay so it's definitely this way um, I don't see it. Oh, there's rocks. Hold on. That was close. I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. Okay. So there's rocks. So let's go ahead and switch to bombs. Uh, throw bomb. Blow up bomb. Oh, nice. All right. There we go. We got some new stuff. Uh, chill shroom often found at the base of pine trees in the cold climates. These mushrooms are cool to the touch and can be used to cook dishes that allow you to stay cool even in, uh, arid regions. Okay. So that's actually probably going to be good, useful in a little bit. And a wild berry, a fruit that grows in cold, snowy regions known for its tangy, sweet flavor. doesn't offer any special effects, but it's a popular cooking ingredient. Okay, let's take it anyway, guys. Because we can always use cooking stuff, especially because how many times we die. Uh, which is kind of funny, but at the same time, it's not funny because I don't like dying. And here we are, guys. We found it. Uh, Tano Oa Shrine. Alright, let's examine it. Let's go inside, guys. I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited. This is going to be the first shrine of the episode. And I feel like we haven't done a shrine in a little while. So this is actually going to be pretty interesting, guys. Alright, we're going down. Secret of the... What? I missed that, guys. Sorry. Uh, some ingredients will freeze if submerged in ice-cold water. Or when it's left out in frigid regions, there are some ingredients that taste even better frozen. Okay, I think we already knew that, guys, from the last tip. Um... Okay, so we're here. Oh, this one. Oh, that's easy. Wait, what? Two sets foot in this shrine. I am Tano. Ah, but entering this place, you're already proving your worth. Oh, it's blessing. Okay. Oh, so it's like free. I guess maybe the hidden shrines are like just like free. I don't know. Uh. Oh, we got climbing boots! Yes! These these rock climbing boots have special no-slip toes that help you cl uh, cling to the wall. This ancient technology uh, facilitates more nimble climbing. So, guys, we almost have a full set. I think we only need the, the shirt left. That's awesome, guys. I'm actually, like, I, I'm like kind of speechless a little bit. Uh, you have done well to arrive at this shrine. A hero rises to the right and the, the right the wrongs of Hyrule. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I bestow to you upon this spirit orb. Yes, guys. 
We are winning right now in this adventure. Here we go. Here we go. And here comes my special sound effects. Heart attack. There we go, guys. Spirit orb, a symbol of curtain given to those who have overcome the challenges of the shrine. We got five now, guys. May the goddess smile upon you, and as always, smile upon you, my long-haired, conditioned beauty, petrified, may you go in peace. That's right. We give them our blessing too, guys. But this is awesome, guys. So now we have two pieces of armor for climbing, so we only need one more. So this was actually definitely, because I didn't even think about really doing this one. Uh, I was actually, like, I mean, you guys heard it in my voice. I was kind of like, eh, maybe we should, maybe we shouldn't. But I'm actually, like, super excited that we did. And now we have to go straight back up, guys. <laughs> so this is going to be fun. Um, but I'm super excited that we actually got that, guys. That was definitely worth the while. So anytime we actually come across another one where they're like, oh, yeah, go ahead and come into this shrine. And we have zero. God, oh, my goodness. Crap on a cracker. All right, so let's just run away, I guess. It's kind of, you know, whatever. But we are against the clock too, guys. If you guys do remember, we actually only have, we actually only have 24 seconds, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19. All right, so we actually don't even have that much time for this last, and I, but we, just, we still have some more actually, guys. So maybe that might actually uh, get us through the night. And how am I still climbing? I feel like I'm not climbing right now. I feel like I'm still, like, kind of walking. It's kind of weird. Um, is there, like, a flat spot? Or, like, what's going on here? Ooh, I'm actually freezing now. Oh, this isn't... Oh, wait, no, my, um... The, uh, cold buff went away. Alright, so we need another one. Uh, let's do the four minutes. Alright, so we only have one left, guys. So, actually, like... Oh, am I gonna slide all the way back down? Oh, wait, what? So, okay... That's super weird, guys. So I guess, like, I didn't even have to, like, keep continue climbing. I could have, like, regained my stamina. But that was weird. Okay. And I don't know why I didn't put those trousers on yet. But I'm actually really, really scared to, uh, do it. So is that... Oh, now it's frozen. Uh, Icy Prime Meat. High-quality frozen animal meat doesn't restore any hearts, but it can lower your body temperature. I feel like I don't want it. What's this? Do I just like... Okay. There's something about this that I have to do. Oh, I'm not going all the way down there, guys. We can't. We... Uh, I, I, I wish we could, but we can't. But actually, let's just real quick... Let's just real quick, guys. Let's just mark it with a... Uh, uh, let's mark it with a leaf. So leaf, seeds, tree. Sounds pretty about right. Alright, so we gotta go back this way, guys. And are we still going in the right direction? I feel like we are. Okay, we are. Okay. Oh, I'm not climbing that either. What is that? I'm sorry, guys. I'm, like, so, like, just, like, beyond excited about this entire game. Um. I don't know what that is, but it's, like, staring at me, like, directly in the face. So, I, I really don't want to go up there. Um. But maybe we can when we get like the full uh, boots and uh, of the cold weather. Uh, why did I not? Oh. We could have probably gotten like an extra like 30 feet off that if it, it actually worked. All right, so we're making progress, and it seems like it's not like blizzarding right now, so that might actually help us a little bit. But I still don't want to chance it, guys. So we're like pretty much practically like running through this right now. Um, just because I really don't want to die up here because we're already like halfway to the uh, well halfway hopefully to the uh, thingy majiggy and where is oh we can't even see the village actually so we're actually really far up here so yeah dying is not allowed right now guys so let's just go ahead and all right so here's staircases actually so this actually might be a good uh, little Indicator, I guess, maybe? Something just fell behind me. Something's behind me. What are you? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Whoa. Let's see if we can strife him. 
Nice good jump. Ow. Oh my god, what? I want that boomerang, guys. We're getting that boomerang. Oh my god. This is horrible. So it's badly damage. Oh, we got, a, we got his weapon, though. What is this? A Lazzle Forked Boomerang. Blue Lazarus. Particularly, I like this weapon. It has one more, it has more than one blade than the Lazarus Boomerang to give you additional cutting power. It still remains, still returns when throwing. Um, okay, we're taking that, guys. Uh, because that was horrible. So let's just throw this regular boomerang. Don't come back, please. There we go. Alright. Oh my goodness, guys. And we're almost... Oh god, we only have 53 seconds left on this, guys. And let's just... Real quick, just in case we forget. Uh, let's also, like, really don't want to eat, like, good thing we got the apples. Okay, so we got full hearts, so let's keep going. Because I feel like maybe, like, if I forget, like, because last time, pretty much, like, we forgot that the uh, cold resistance went away. And what's this? A hearty truffle, this rare mushroom. Has a rich scent. Cook it before eating to temporarily increase your maximum hearts. Oh yeah, we're definitely taking those. Um, okay, so do I have to go like down? Oh my god, I already like passed it? Okay. So we already passed the... Wait, what? Alright, so we are actually already past it, guys. So let's just go back this way. Because this is, like, I guess the road that we saw. But I guess we already passed it. So that's kind of weird. Uh, let's just see if we're going... Okay, so we gotta go... Uh, probably shouldn't jump. Let's see if we can, like, just, like, quick go, like... There we go. And then... Let's do a little jump. Get some stamp. Jump, jump. Alright, we're back to cold, guys. Oh, that's because, see? Look, you constantly, just constantly gotta be uh, checking this out. Um, so let's eat another one. Alright, so we got six more minutes, guys. So I want to say it's... Okay, so we're definitely in the wrong spot. Because this is the star right here, and there's... Okay, so I was wrong, guys. Let's just, let's just go ahead and recheck the quest, just in case. Um... Princess Zelda left behind an album with 12 pictures traveling to a place shown in these pictures may help you get Okay, so that's not what I'm looking for. Uh, that's not what I'm looking for. These are all the additional stuffs, stuff and things. Um, do we not? Okay, so we definitely got the... Hold on, guys. Um. Okay, so we actually don't even have. Oh, come on. Okay, so we don't even have the uh, thing. Oh, man. Okay. Um. If I remember correctly, they said Mount Lanayru. In between these two, right here, there should be a gate. And I see trees. Or was it Moderna? No, it was definitely Lanayru. They definitely said the Lanayru. Um. Let's check the album real quick, guys. Um, okay, so Lanayru is like literally right behind it. And if I'm looking at this, oh, sorry, if I'm looking at this correctly, that's the mountain peak right there. So maybe it's actually, I don't see a road though. That's the super weird part is I don't see a road. So that's the bridge, and I'm assuming you go down and around and up and... 
maybe we're too close. No, because this was all snow too, because that's where the three trees are. So maybe it's up more here? Or, oh, wait a second. That looks like a bridge. That looks like a bridge. If I could bet a dollar, I would, but I don't have a dollar for you guys. All right, so it's completely behind us. So is it this way? No, it's more this way. Nope, it's more this way. Yep. Okay, so it's actually down over there. Okay, so we actually went... Oh, wait, is that the bridge right there, guys? Oh, my goodness, I swear. Oh, wait. I saw something. A cool staphylina. This medical plant grows in the high elevations, such as mountains in the Hebrew or Garuda regions. When cooked into a dish, it will temporarily increase your heat resistance. Cool. Okay, so I feel like we might need those eventually. And is that... Hold on, guys. I just want to, like, double check before we go all the way down there. Uh, wait, wait. Okay, I saw a bridge, guys. Like, I'm, I feel like you guys think I'm crazy. Okay, so right there. That's it. Oh, yeah, that's definitely it, guys. Okay. So let's just, like, stroll down a little bit further. Alright, that was weird, though, because I could have sworn they said, like, at the base of Lanayru. So, let's just... Uh, which way is it? That way. Glider. Let's see if we can glide this far, guys. It seems so much further on the map, too. That's what also, like, kind of uh, screwed me up a little bit was I could have sworn, like, because it definitely seemed like it was uh, roughly, like, half a map away. So, like, oh, so we didn't even have to use cold resistance. Well, I guess we did, actually, guys. Actually, scratch that, guys. We definitely did. And what is that? I am... what? Okay. So we're gonna stay away from him. Cause that thing... Oh god. Please don't. And I'm out of stamina too. This is actually pretty bad. This question mark's going high. It's getting higher. Is it getting lower now? Okay, it's lowering. Okay, so maybe... Can I glide? There we go. Alright, so maybe this is the bridge they were talking about because that's Mount Lanegru and so this looks oh wait is this it right here guys is this it recall that looks like it's it guys I think we found our first memory I'm super excited guys I hope it's like kind of cool this is the first one so we haven't done one before so let's see what happens Uh, oh, I think we remember in here's a cutscene, guys. Let's get super excited. We we'll stop talking. Keep us in suspense. How'd everything go up there on the mountain? So you didn't feel anything? No power at all? I'm sorry now. Then let's move on. You've done all you could. Feeling sorry for yourself won't be of any help. After all, it's not like your last shot was up there on Mount Lanayru. Anything could finally spark the power to seal Ganon away. We just have to keep looking for that thing. That's kind of you. Thank you. If I may... I thought you... Well, I'm not sure how to put this into words. I'm actually quite embarrassed to say it. But I was thinking about what I do when I'm healing. You know, what usually goes through my mind. It helps when I think, when I think about.
This is it, then. Are you sure? Positive. It's awake. You remember me. Let's stop wasting time. We're gonna need everything we got to take that thing down. Now, champions, to your divine feasts. Show that swirling swine who's boss. Link will need to meet Ganon head on when we attack. This needs to be a unified assault. Little guy, you get to Hyrule Castle. You can count on us for support, but it's up to you to pound Ganon into oblivion. Come, we should go. We need to get you someplace safe. No. I'm not a child anymore. I may not be much use on the battlefield. But there must. There must be something I can do to help. That was awesome, guys. That was like... All right, so memories checked. We definitely got to get some more, guys. That's like, that was probably one of the coolest parts of the game so far. I mean, the entire game is freaking cool. But that was just like, that was awesome. They did, like, they did, they put so much work into that. And that like, so if we get all 12, maybe it'll tell us like the entire story. And we got a restless cricket, a very energetic cricket, cook it with a monster part to create a stamina recovery elixir. Okay. But, yeah, guys, that was like, let me know what you guys thought about that. Uh, because my thoughts on that is that was freaking awesome. Uh, that was, like, super cool. And all the voices that they did in those was, like, amazing. So, but actually, guys, I think that's going to be an episode. We actually did everything that we wanted to on this adventure. Um, and now that we actually got one of those, um... Memories, we can go back to uh, the um, the village. The um, sorry, brain dead for a second. The uh, Kakariko village, and we can actually like go talk to Impa again because she said come back as soon as we got one of those memories. So that's actually awesome, dude. Um, but yeah, okay, so we got one, and there's twelve, so we can actually. So we can do some more shrines, and then we can also try to find these memories, because I'm, like, super stoked about these memories, guys. That was, like, that was probably, like, one of the coolest parts so far. Um, I'm super digging this game right now. We're going to remove these stamps, because they don't mean anything to us anymore, because they were misplaced anyway. And we saw that Korok seed all the way over here, too, guys. Um, but I think that's going to be it for an episode, guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys like this content. I hope you guys are really enjoying this series as much as I am, guys, because I am thoroughly getting really into this series and i hope you guys are too and i hope to see you guys on more adventures again guys if you guys like the video if you guys love the video make sure you guys are smashing up that thumbs up button and subscribing for more content coming to you guys uh daily and if you guys are new to the channel also welcome i really appreciate you guys looking at the content and i hope to see you guys on future adventures but i think that's it for now guys and until next time and until the next adventure i should say well, I think that's going to be it for now, guys. we got to go back to base, rest up for the next big one. But until then, guys, this is BR Gaming signing off. See you guys.